Alice Chalmers orange is the color you see the most around Don Clark's place in Ohio. That's understandable. His love for this brand of tractor is something that was passed down from his dad. I grew up on Alice Chalmers. He started collecting tractors and I, I kind of got in it with him. And it's the one thing in his later years that we did together. So I'm trying to keep it going. And hopefully my grandkids will, will pick up on the same interest, I hope. One highlight of Don's collection is this 1967 B10. Right away it stands out because of the color. It's not the typical Persian orange we're used to seeing on Alice Chalmers machines. These were actually made for Alice Chalmers by Simplicity. And at that time, Simplicity was orange. Uh, so whether they did that for contrast, I'm not sure. I'm just assuming. This tractor came out of Shirley, Indiana. Um, it's basically the way you're looking at it. I, I changed a few things to get it back to what I thought should be original. But other than that, it's, it, it's basically how I got it. I did a little bit of carburetor work because I think it had been sitting a while. I cleaned the carburetor. I changed the hitch a little bit um, because it's as close to the, what the stock hitch. You know, it, it's not exactly stock, but I tried to get it to at least look back the way it should look. The hubcaps and the dual wheels are an option. I mean, they actually show the hubcaps in a uh, in the brochure. That was something extra you could buy if you wanted to dress your tractor up a little bit. That was an option along with the Chevron uh, tread. Uh, most of the tractors come out with turf tires. So the option, uh, depending on what you were going to do, you could get uh, this kind of tread or, the, or and the dual wheels. Over the years, there have been several versions of the B10. The original actually had a nine-horse engine. When the horsepower was increased in 1965, it was renamed the Big Ten. However, one year later, when the bigger B12 came along, the Big Ten was renamed once more to the B10. That's when the Bumblebee logo was first used, and it helps identify these late B10s from the early ones. So the numbers aren't real clear on how many were made in, in the years and the serial numbers. Uh, that information's, I haven't found it yet anyway. Um, you probably see, I probably think these are probably more popular because they're unique to Bumblebee design. See, when you go to shows, you, you see a lot of them. This Bumblebee 10 is powered by a four cycle Briggs and Stratton engine while the transmission featured three forward gears and one reverse. There were plenty of options for attachments like this rake, which is also from the 60s and maybe even more of a collector's item. It has a uh, rake attachment on it. That's not necessarily an house chowers, but some of their implements were actually made uh, by different people for, for to fit house chowers. I think uh, the front weight counterbalances the rake. Uh, I'm taking, I'm just assuming that's the way it works because when you lower the rake, it kind of lowers the weight also, so other than that, I don't know a whole lot about them. So I call it a rock rake, and, you know, I figure it's used for landscaping. There was a plow attachment. Uh, they probably use it for small gardens, but I'd say most time it's used for a lawnmower. If all the orange doesn't convince you that Don is an Alice Chalmers fan, then check out this memorabilia room where he collects and displays all things AC. Don says he's gotten a kick out of hunting down these rare pieces of Alice Chalmers history. Although he's only been collecting lawn and garden tractors for a few years, Don's done some fast work to quickly fill out his collection. Most of them are all, you know, in running condition. Now, some of them need a little bit of work. Uh, I have 18 bigger Alice Chalmers. Uh, that's what I that's what I started out with with the bigger tractors, but. As time goes on, I'm starting to get into the garden tractors a little more. I'm getting a little older, <laughs> and uh, these are easier to handle, they're easier to move, they're easier to work on. I don't want to say they're necessarily cheaper to work on, but uh, that's probably the big reason they're just easier to work on, and it's something a little different. Hopefully when I retire, I'll have more time to work with them and uh, maybe show them off more. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If you'd like to see more great garden tractors, be sure to check out these other features. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep those Classic Tractor stories rolling.